sacred heart, O love divine, who gave us near to Thee, and make our love so like to Thine, that we So we gather together in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, we bow our heads wherever you are this moment, whatever you're going through. Just welcome the Lord in your heart. A heart welcomes another heart. And welcome him in your home, your family. Yes, we have a God who is with us always and in always, especially in this difficult time of our journey in this world. And we have a God who has a heart that we can go to him bring to him anything, everything, and we know that he listens. We know he understands. And we know that he loves us. So today, we bring simply our thanksgiving. Let's be grateful. And in humility, we bring our hearts so wounded by sin, and in humility, we ask for forgiveness. As I invite you to, to forgive people in your heart who have hurt you. Pray for them in this Mass. And pray for people you have hurt in any way. Promise God to stop hurting people from now on. And finally, Forgive yourself. You are so loved by God more than you can imagine. God is loving and merciful. Punung puno ng pagmamahal at awa. And so we pray, I confess. Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We include now our personal thanksgiving requests and intentions. And our collective prayer that the pandemic will end soon, that we will not be affected, infected by the virus, and that we learn the lessons God wants us to learn from this difficult time we are going through. Clone us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conform to his image, we may merit a share in an eternal redemption to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, thus should one regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Now it is of course required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. It does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself. I am not conscious of anything against me, but I do not thereby stand acquainted. The one who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time until the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will manifest the motives of our hearts, and then everyone will receive praise from God. The word of the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. Criminals are destroyed and the posterity of the wicked is cut off. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is the refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them he delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. the light of the world, says the Lord, whoever follows me will have the light of life. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers. And the disciples of the Pharisees do the same. But yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast? When the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak 
to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new and the piece from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins. And no one who has been drinking old wine desires new. For he says, the old is good. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord bless this unworthy priest about to preach, that I may preach with humility, with the heart, not just with the lips, and come, Holy Spirit, all the people who listen, to listen not just with their ears, but to listen with their hearts. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, I don't know if you heard, may I just repeat the last line of the gospel? He says, the old is good. Mabuhay, mga senior citizen. Ang ganda naman to. How affirming, nakakatouch naman. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for remembering us. Repeat that. The old is good. Tama yan. That is very true. <laughs> it's a lot of good things that have been tested na kasi. May pinagdaanan na, napigana, na, ferment na. Yan sana ang ating palaging isipin. At siguro, hey, old na rin tayo sa pandemic. It's like six months already. That's half of the year. And I'm sure marami na talagang napiga, marami ng realizations. Maganda po. We come up with something Siguro many of us are becoming more relaxed now. Marami pong paghihirap, adjustment, but hey, something good is happening in each one of us. I don't know if uh, you noticed, about three nights ago, or two nights ago, was the full moon. September moon. Beautiful. And uh, I, I always take time just to enjoy the moon. Hindi naman po dahil sa lunatic tayo, but there's something about the moon po eh. It, it's something that assures us of God's presence. God's gentle, calm presence. Ayan pong kailangan, kailangan natin this time especially. I know, ang dami po nagpapanik, talagang nawawalan ng trabaho, trabaho. So, naturally, we, we, we panic, many become hopeless or go to depressions. May mga nawalan po ng mahal sa buhay. All these things definitely shake us. But thank you for the faith. Salamat na lang po sa pananampalataya at tayo po ay nagiging matatag. Somehow we know there is meaning, there is a reason for everything that's happening because there is a God who knows, who sees everything and will take care of everything and everyone. Yun po ang pananampalataya natin. Kung wala po yun, how do you explain this? How do you survive these things? Thank you for the faith. And today again, we thank God because our God is a God who has a heart. 
One thing that has happened, siguro, many of us, because of this pandemic, po, we have focused from the work of our hands, possessions, the power in our hands, and we have focused more now on the love in our hearts. And dami pong nagbago. Like the moon, we have often taken for granted the heart. In the past, no. Anong heart, heart yan, Father? Pera, sikat, enjoy. Now, tignan nyo, how the Lord just, in one sweep, tinabi niya lahat yan. And he said, focus on the heart. I'm glad there are many families now praying together, having time together, bonding, rediscovering each other. This would never have happened in normal situations before, but it's happening now. And I'm glad many people are beginning to come out with their heart. Yung may awareness, tutulong kami, Father, kahit pa paano. You know, ba? Yung mga nagdo-donate, even sa simbahan, sa missionaries, sa, sa mga old retired. It's amazing. People are coming out with their heart. Finally, maraming mayayaman, nag-share-share na. Kasi wala naman pala magagaw yung pera nila. In such times. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. At the heart is beginning to shine. Tabi muna ha, yung mga head. Tabi muna, you operate with the head, with the lips, you operate with the pocket. No, teka muna, tignan natin yung puso. And I really believe in my heart that God is fixing all of us. God is fixing the world. Something good will come out of this, mga kapatid. I really don't know uh, what, how things will go, but you see, gumagalaw ang Espiritu Santo po. And I'm sure in your life, you can tell me, Father, ito na yung mga realizations ko. Natanggap ko na. Ang ganda po. So please focus on the beautiful things happening. Nandiyan pa rin po. Kasi po, sa totoo lang, oh, Father, ang gaganda ng mga reflections natin, pero this would be a perfect one na eh. Yung lifestyle, yung tahimik lang, walang masyadong, ang ganda na sana. Huwag lang sana yung may mga namamatay, nagkakasakit. Huwag lang sana yung may mga nagugutom. Yun, yun lang, kung maayos lang yun, ang ganda na nito, ganitong style ng buhay natin. And one time, it hit me when I was praying, okay, magandang buhay na ganito, simple na lang, slower life, more quiet life. Ang ganda na. Except, maraming naghihirap. 5Q plus 5Q. Gawin nga natin a solution. You know what the Lord perhaps is telling us? Look, you help the poor. You give to the poor. And, and those who need, you need. And share that. Pasok na yung dalawa. We have a peaceful life. At mas konti na yung mga naghihirap. So God is calling us to share pa more. Yun. Ilabas na po natin mga extra. Nakatago lang dyan. My God, if we only started this, everyone, ang ganda, ang ganda, ang bundo. That we learn finally to share sa mga walang-wala, ang ganda na po sana. And maybe this is where the Lord is leading us. But the signs are there. Um, you know, when the Lord works, wala naman po masyadong instant o palaging miracles, hindi po. May iba pong usapan. Uh, prayer life. I'd like to start with a simple uh, experience. Mayroon pong mga humihingi ng pera, ganoon, through the years. Uh, 
someone I know for the past 20 years, mamaya mag-ingi, Father, kailangan namin ganito. Okay? Sige lang. I mean, uh, prudence says wag dapat, but the heart says, sige na, I mean, kung naman. Okay? So, it's been 20 years. Pero alam nyo, nag-level up naman. Dati, hingi, Father, hingi po ko, kailangan ko ng ganito, kailangan namin sa pamilya. Ngayon, bago humingi, mayroon pang biblical verse muna. <laughs> Parang, hindi lang humihingi, nag, may, may spiritual, may, nag-pray-praise din siya. Praise the Lord. At, at the end, sinasabi, I'll pray for you, Father. Oh, mayroon ng intercessory prayers. Dati pa na petition prayers lang siya, hingi lang, hingi. Ngayon may praise at mayroon ng intercession. Tanungin ko nga po kayo mga kapatid, when you pray to God, what do you pray for most of the time? Baka panay ka lang petition ng petition. In fact, there are people who remember God only when may kailangan sila. I think we have to level up. That's what the Lord is telling us, that the heart must also be learned to fast and to be cleansed. The best prayer is praise. When you praise God, Lord, I thank you, I have problems, but I'm not focusing on problems, my hurts, my pains, my sickness. No, I focus and praise you, your goodness and love. It's here, and dito mga problema, Lord, but I'm not coming here just to. Na, alam na po niyo yan, but I personally would like to express my love and trust in you. Mga kapatid, please don't forget to praise God. Sure, nandiyan mga petition, but praising God, the whole breviary, the Psalms, is all about praising God. So I hope you begin to realize that when you praise God, all in na yan eh. Okay? Intercessory. Ito rin ang maganda. That you pray for other people. Mayroon po kasi, every time they pray, it's all about them. It's all about me. <laughs> for my health, for my family, for my grandson. Ah, uh, Hello, paano kung mga may sakit, mga may hirap? Parang hindi. That, that is very selfish prayer. It's time for us to realize, itong pandemic, yan ang tinuturo po ni Lord sa atin. You broaden your heart. You enlarge your heart. Hindi lang yung pamilya mo, sarili mo. Enlarge your heart. Yan. Enlarge heart ka na. <laughs> Mahirap yan, pero sa mata ng Diyos, the bigger, the better. Somebody said, pagdating sa gate sa langit, they will have a tape measure. Hindi po nila i-measure doon yung gano'n ka puno yung bulsa mo. Hindi ko yan ang minimeasure dyan. O gano kahabang kamay mo in terms of influence, in terms of contacts. The only one that will be measured is your heart. The bigger, the better. Siguro po, on this sacred heart, today, Good Friday, let's look into our hearts. Six months into the pandemic, has our heart become bigger? Has your heart included more people? Has your heart become more kind? More gentle, maybe? More generous? I believe in my heart that God is really cleansing us, purifying us, takes time, but just be open. Allow yourself to be cleansed, and He will set you free. 
Sa tutuo lang po, what I'm going to give a talk today about journey into joy. Sa tutuo lang po, if you are so, what do we call it, small-hearted, or what do you call it, close-hearted, there isn't much room for joy in your life. Distinguish between happiness and joy. Ang tanong ko ngayon sa'yo, are you happy? Oh, six months into pandemic, anong overriding atmosphere ng puso mo? Happy? Are you joyful? Mas malalim po kasi yung joyful. Think about it. Yung mysteries, joyful mystery, no? the first joyful mystery. Bakit joyful? Pwede sanang the first happy mystery. <laughs> Why did they choose joyful? Because joyful is deeper than being happy. Ang happy po, happiness depends on things or people outside you. Maraming pera, mabait mga anak. Happy ako, happy ako, maraming kaibigan. Happy. It's all about people outside or things outside me. But joyful means I can have that happiness in my heart even if things or people around me, situation, are not okay. I can still be joyful. The saints, how many of the saints had a happy life? Comfortable life. When people were okay, the situation, many of them suffered hunger, even persecution. But they were joyful. Sana po, ito pong hingi natin, Lord, create in me not just a happy heart that depends on things or people outside me, but a joyful heart that is steadfast. Nandun pa rin, in spite of Whatever is happening around me, I am joyful because I know you are with me. I know you are holding me and you are guiding me. That's my wish for, for all of us. May you have not just a happy heart, but a joyful heart. Like Mama Mary. I review nga natin yung joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. Yeah. The Annunciation was filled with a lot of problems. How will this be? Ha? Huh? Anong mangyayari? Chichismis ako ng mga tao. Eh, magkakaanak ka na hindi mo alam kung sino ang tatay. So it was a difficult situation. See? Outside was a difficult situation. But Mary was joyful because he said, Thy will be done. See the point? Oh, and in second mystery, Shelo, huh? visitation. Happy? Yeah, happy. Pero an layon naglakad, nag donkey si Mama Mary Kalayo, almost 100 kilometers from Nazareth to, and she was also on the way. Imagine, the situation was not at all a happy situation. But she was joyful. Because Cassian, yung pinsa niya siya, they felt the presence of God. That was a joyful situation. Third mystery. Nativity, the birth of Jesus. Was that a happy situation? <laughs> oh my God. Winter, and lamig, nandun ka sa sabsaban, mga hayop kasama nyo. Ah, it was not happy in terms of things or people around you. But it was a joyful because they were focused on the Savior. And the name fourth, the presentation of the Lord. In presentation, you travel all the way from Nazareth and layo niyan, go to the temple for the presentation. They were poor. Mahira. And 
and there was a, a prediction uh, uh, that a sword of sorrow will pierce the heart of Jesus, of Mama Mary. Happy, it was a happy, okay. more, it was more of a joyful occasion because they realized they can present the Lord. Last mystery, the finding of Jesus at the temple. Was it a happy? Yeah, of course, happy. But before that, anong nangyari? Panic, nawala si Jesus. And it, they thought they'll never find him again. But more than that, it was a joyful moment because they realized this boy is doing God's will. So mga kapatid, choose happiness, more rightly, joy is a choice. Joy does not depend on things or people outside you. If that is your definition of joy, I'm sorry. You'll never really be happy <laughs> because there will never be a perfect situation. There will never be perfect people. So please, perhaps today in this Mass, we ask the Lord, Lord, give me a joyful heart that remains steadfast. Ano man pong nangyayari sa paligid outside me that I stay focused, I stay in your embrace and give me the joy which the world cannot give nor take away. Before the pandemic, my God, only, only, all of us were searching for enjoyment and happiness going around, eating this and that, buying this and that, you know, showing off to people this and that. Now, who cares? We realize, may mas malalim pa pala para sa atin that will fulfill us. Sisters and brothers, the sacred heart invites you and me to come into his heart and seek shelter there so that in spite of everything that na nangyayari around us, outside us, so all our, we are safe and we are assured that all will be well. It does not mean we become detached, uninvolved. Hindi po yun eh. All the more, when you are in the sacred heart, you begin also to have a heart for people. By the way, Yung mga, anong tawag sa mga taong walang heart, walang puso. Inglisin mo yan. You are a heartless person. Ang pangit talaga pakinggan yan. Yes, sisters and brothers, thank you, Lord and Mama Mary, for reminding us again to stay in your heart and grow and love with your heart to level up our way of praying, to level up in our way of loving and sharing. May the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all. I invite you now to bow your head, put your right hand over your heart and just allow God to bless you and embrace you. Lord, salamat. Salamat po. Lord, patawad. Sorry po. Lord, patulong. Lord, thank you for this moment with you in your heart. Mama Mary, teach us. Teach us more about humility. Teach us more about generosity and patience and obedience to God's will. 
And in this moment of quiet, atin-atin lang po to. Malapit ng birthday ni Mama Mary. So, baka pwede mong ibulong kay Mama Mary now na. Mama Mary, pa-birthday mo na lang po sa akin. Ito pong hinihingi ko sa inyo. Please tell the Mama Mary now your special request. Special intention. At sana, hindi lang all about you, all about your loved ones and concerns. Ask Mama Mary, especially, to intercede for all the people in the world, especially those who are suffering and sick, lonely, those who are in the darkness of sin. Yes, Mama Mary, teach us to have a big heart. So let's all greet our mother and ask her to bless our beloved country, the Philippines. Mahal na mahal po ni Mama Mary ang ating bayang Pilipinas. Hail Mary, full of grace. Blessed are you among women. As it is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And now we turn to the Lord. We pray not only for ourselves, but for other people as well. The prayers of the faithful. We come before you, O God, bring to you our prayers, our petitions, and our response, brothers and sisters. Renew us, O Lord. Renew us, O Lord. That the church, the people of God, and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today the new ever language of the gospel. We pray. Renew us, O Lord that we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice, we pray. Renew us, O Lord. That we may realize that the miracle of change is always possible for those who seek Christ's help in attaining it, we pray. Renew us, O Lord that we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern, we pray. Renew us, O Lord. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ, we pray. Renew us, O Lord. O Lord, listen to our prayers from our hearts to your heart. We offer them to Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear friends, that this is our sacrifice, our thanksgiving, 
may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. God, our Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness, gave us your only begotten Son, grant we pray that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us <clears throat> with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his spear's side, the wellspring of the church sacraments that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so, with all the angels and the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. <clears throat> Where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Sisters and brothers, wherever you are now, whatever you're going through, the Lord is with you, blessing you, loving you, assuring you of his loving presence. You are indeed holy, o Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. It's the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, <coughs> by your cross and resurrection, you have <coughs> set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
Onestar Bishop, clergy, missionaries, and religious all over the world. Remember to Lord, our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, especially victims of COVID-19, especially our frontliners who gave their lives so that others may live. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Sisters and brothers, we have a God, a Father who has a heart. Now, we talk to him. We surrender everything. We now pray, sing the Our Father from the heart, not just from the lips. Mula sa puso, hindi lang mula sa nguso. With love, we now pray to God, our Father. Father, deliver us from all evil, deliver us from this calamity, deliver us from the virus, from accidents, sickness, from bad people with bad intentions. Grant us peace, keep us free from sin, protect us from worries, anxieties, depressions. As we wait, in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, and my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, O God, but on the faith of your church. Grant us that peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. And the wrong difference ng happy smile at joyful smile. Yung happy smile sa lips lang, pwede namang ganang-ganang lang, happy. Pero ang joyful smile po, kasama yung eyes, kasama yung puso na ngumingiti. Let's now give to one another a joyful smile. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Sisters and brothers, the Lord is here, and the Lord is with you wherever you are, whatever you're going to right now. May I now ask you to give to the Lord a joyful smile from the heart. Whatever you're going through, smile joyfully at the Lord. 
our strength, our hope, our peace. Lord, thank you. Lord, we're sorry. Lord, we love you. Stay with us. Help us, Lord. Jesus, I trust in you. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, happy and grateful are we who are called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I'd like to share with you a simple prayer from my book. A lot of people there, seniors like me, growing old, and for life, all of us. Lord, I am growing old. I am not that young anymore, no longer that strong, Lord. But thank you, Lord, I am still alive. Thank you, Lord, I have provisions and love. And thank you for my faith that helps me survive. Lord, it can be lonely and scary at times, but I'm okay and I am fine because you're always at my side. Thank you, Lord, I have come this far. As you have loved me when I was young, I know you love me more so now. Amen. And about joyful smile, not just happy smile. Let's pray this prayer. Make me smile, Lord. When I become too serious, 
make me smile, Lord. When I become too anxious, make me smile, Lord. When I become too envious, make me smile, Lord. When the journey is long and boring, make me smile, Lord. When people are cold and uncaring, make me smile, Lord. When I'm tired and my strength is failing, make me smile, Lord. When I'm burdened with work and deadlines, make me smile, Lord. When I'm stressed with money and finances, make me smile, Lord. When I have to adjust to unforeseen changes, make me smile, Lord. When I feel like shouting and complaining, make me smile, Lord. When people around me become irritating, make me smile, Lord. When I experience loneliness and pain, make me smile, Lord. When I don't feel well, just make me smile, Lord. When I don't know and I don't care, make me smile, Lord. And when I don't even feel like smiling, just make me smile, Lord. Amen. Amen. So thank you, sisters and brothers. Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your head in prayer and make that joyful smile to God. Whatever you're going through, whatever situation you're in now, just trust the Lord and that His grace, His blessing, His love, and His blessing be upon you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let's prepare for the birthday of Mama Mary. Yes, is there anything you can offer to her, to your mother, to our mother? Go in peace and live a joyful life. And have a big heart. May you have an enlarged heart. So full of love, so full of God. Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus te. Yeah.